Hello world, welcome back to the Razer RC and today we're going to be talking about how to unlock your Spectrum Firma ESC. So if you've got an Arma 4x4 3SBLX like my Arma Vortex we have right here, it uh, comes with an ESC with basically like an older firmware version and you can actually update. Now you will need the Spectrum Firma programming card. It uh, costs I think $25, $30 or so. I'll put a link in the description below. So you will need this one piece. That's pretty much it. You will need like a lab laptop or a computer as well uh, running like Windows to actually update it but uh, yeah it's pretty simple pretty straightforward it does allow you to unlock some additional features so what we got in front of us here is the Spectrum for my ESC that comes with my Vortex we've got a laptop and then uh, yeah you're basically just going to be uh, essentially unplugging the fan so on your ESC there's a little plug here on the bottom Go ahead and unplug that fan and that's also used as the programming port. So what you do is grab your uh, Spectrum programming card, plug the little wire that comes with it into the middle port. You want black to the right which is negative, white to the left. And then plug the other end here into the ESC. So uh, again black should be on the right, it's marked negative and then white on the left. And then you got to hook it up to your PC so it comes with like this USB cable plug that into the programming card and it should light up. It'll actually say connecting to the PC and then uh, you go ahead and grab your laptop and you will need to download the Smart Link app um, that comes from Spectrum. I'll also put a link to where to download this for your computer, but yeah, you go ahead and open up the app. Now the app is what actually has the new firmware. So uh, go ahead and make sure you connect it to the programming card. I just hit connect there that will start connecting to the, the programming card and then you have to turn on the car itself to basically power on the ESC and then uh, wait a little bit you'll hear the ESC boot up and then it'll start connecting so you'll see it basically connect to the app on your uh, computer and uh, there's a bunch of different options kind of by default we'll kind of take a look at them real quick here it's got battery start mode brake force running mode, uh, motor rotation, BEC voltage. Well, you will see that the BEC voltage has been grayed out. So uh, with the old firmware, it's non-adjustable. And then uh, if you click on firmware upgrade, you should see a newer version here. We've got 206, so we're gonna download that to our ESC. Um, every app basically comes with the latest firmware. So if there is a newer version, it'll show up here. And you go ahead and just hit the upgrade button. And so yeah, it'll, it'll just start upgrading. So it takes a couple of minutes to download, you know, make sure you don't power off the ESC, make sure you don't power off the computer or anything like that. Obviously uh, that would not be very good. So we'll go ahead and let that finish. Okay, we're getting to the end here and you'll see that it says upgrade finished successfully and uh, it'll give you that little pop-up window. And then you actually see the ESC reboot um, it has to restart basically to you know run with that new firmware so it'll start beeping and then it should connect and you'll go ahead and see uh, the new set of options so if you check it out it actually has BC voltage with a couple of different options so you can run 7.4 volts if your server supports it and you also have this additional timing feature so this is uh, motor timing that you can run it's, it's basically adding extra power at a certain uh, point in the rev range. I'm not going to go through what timing actually means right now, but it is cool that you can adjust it. Although it comes with 22 and a half degrees uh, by default, it should actually be 15 degrees. That's what the Vortex comes with stock. So this new firmware will change some of the settings. These are just kind of the default settings. I like to run level five start mode or punch. Um, brake force I think is good at 37 and a half. Motor rotation actually you need to change to counterclockwise on the uh, Vortex or any of the 4x4 3S BLXs. Uh, BC voltage if you've got the servo 7.4 volts will work and then again timing I would go back down to 15 degrees I'm not sure why it comes by default with 22 and a half degrees but that's kind of high I think 
Um, it might be okay if you're just doing max speed runs, running a little bit more timing, but uh, for general purpose bashing, I think somewhere in the 15 degrees or maybe 18 and a half degree uh, range will work. But yeah, that's that's not something you want to run at 22 and a half degrees. So yeah, that's pretty much it. How to download new firmware to your ESC. You will need to pick up that programming card. That's kind of it. You know, you will need a computer as well. Hopefully you have one. And yeah, you'll, you'll be able to unlock some additional features on your Spectra Firma AC. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Uh, look for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.